In this video, we will show you how to identify the widespread cereal pest, Russian wheat aphid. Russian wheat aphid requires actively growing host plants for development and reproduction. In Australia, Russian wheat aphid reproduces asexually, with adults giving birth to live juveniles called nymphs. Nymphs pass through four to five instars before becoming adults. When they reach adulthood, Russian wheat aphid can be wingless or winged. Identifying winged Russian wheat aphid in the field can be tricky, so we don't recommend this. It's much easier to identify the wingless form. Wingless Russian wheat aphid are up to two millimetres in length, pale green in colour, elongate and spindle shaped, often with a fine dusting of whitish wax. Russian wheat aphid nymphs look like wingless adults, but are smaller. The wingless Russian wheat aphid has very distinct short antennae, about half the length of their body. Russian wheat aphids also have very small siphuncles, also known as exhaust pipes. They can appear absent to the naked eye, and they have two caudal processes on the end of the abdomen, which give the appearance of a double tail. Russian wheat aphid damage symptoms are unlike other cereal aphids in Australia and can help with identification. The most obvious symptoms include white to yellow or pink to purple chlorotic streaks along the length of leaves as well as longitudinal leaf rolling. Heavily infested plants are often stunted and appear flattened. Wheat awns may also become trapped by rolled leaves resulting in a hook shaped head and bleaching. Russian wheat aphids pale green colour, spindle shape, very short antennae, apparent lack of siphuncles and distinctive damage symptoms readily distinguish it from other pest aphids found in Australian cereal crops.